Hi Scorpio, this is going to be your soulmate reading for May 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I just want to mention that if you'd like to win a private reading, information is in the description section of my video as well as paid readings if you're interested in purchasing a reading and also for... Uh, what else was I going to say? Also for my bracelets as well. Um, I've been getting a few emails from people that are very desperate with their situations um, for me to read on it for free and the only time I do that is if I'm offering a free reading. So at the end of each month one person will, will, will win a free reading but please don't email me with your situations desperately asking for help. Um, that's why I have you know, the paid readings as well, and on top of that, I do have my readings on YouTube, which I upload every single day. So, um, if you do need a reading, follow the information in the description section below, because otherwise, you know, it's not fair if I read for free for one person, and then I'm not able to do it for another, unless, of course, you're the winner of the competition, which I do every single month. So, um, yeah, if you're going to email me... <laughs> your whole situation wanting an answer um, I, I can't because otherwise you know I, I genuinely would need to do that for every other person that does it as well and it's just not fair so um, yes that is that and yeah we're gonna start for your soulmate for May 2019 enough of my rambling all right well um, they all wanted to fly out so we will take them Three of Swords, some form of heartbreak, hurt, betrayal that has occurred. Knight of Pentacles, the Empress. What a turnaround this is. What a turnaround. Three of Pentacles, oh my gosh. Someone here, it's almost like someone here could have hurt you, made you very heartbroken. Oh my gosh, look at this energy. Made you very, very heartbroken and now... It's like they come back and they, I feel like for some of them, you know, they took their time, especially with this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving earth energy. So it's like you got heartbroken, could either be, I'm seeing that this could be actually a person from the past, heartbroken by a person from the past who is your soulmate, according to this, because of course we're reading on your soulmate, well one of your soulmates, because we have many soulmates in our lifetime. But I'm seeing that this could be a past soulmate or person that you have known from the past who is your soulmate, but you may not know that they're your soulmate because they've broken your heart. And it's like they come back around. Very slowly with that Knight of Pentacles energy especially, but they come back around knowing your worth with that Empress. Again, Earth energy, but they, they, they put you on a pedestal because here I'm seeing that they think of you so, so highly. They think you're kind, caring, nurturing. You're this amazing person where things just bloom around you. You're full of growth and happiness and warmth and success and all of these incredible, beautiful things. And they've suddenly realized your worth, which, you know, some of you could go F you to, of course, you know, like, didn't you realize that before? Uh, duh. <laughs> but um, it's almost like they realize that now and they, they're coming back around with that Knight of Pentacles energy, which I have seen is quite slow. Three of Pentacles is about them wanting to build this teamwork, this collaboration, this, you know, this partnership with you again. And it's, you know, these Pentacles have not, are not yellow. They haven't lit up like they are in all of the other cards, which suggests that they want to light things up. They want things to work. They want to come back around. They want to build on it. They want those Pentacles to be visible because they want to work on things with you which is what I'm seeing with the Three of Pentacles. So different energy from the Three of Swords, we got to go to the Three of Pentacles. Now, if you are to accept being with this person, guides are saying you must heal. You must heal this heartbreak that has occurred. It's very, very important because if you do not heal this, it, you know, you will emotionally be kind of all over the place. You'll be thinking, you know, is this person going to do it again? Oh my God, I feel like this. They feel like that. Oh, you know, it, it becomes that emotional sort of baggage. And you know, especially if you haven't healed the root wound, the wound needs to be healed. The, those swords are ouch. So there's that energy of really being able to heal and being able to let go uh, with that star card and that energy. So that's very important message there. Three of Wands is all about different paths. 
So the guides are saying you have many choices in your life. You have many paths. You have multiple soulmates, which is something that I did mention for you before as well. You know, this is one of your soulmates. If you feel they don't deserve that opportunity, you can move on to someone else. Look at that. Victory, success, potential, this and progress. This is regardless of whether you take this person back or you decide, you know what? There's better for me out there because you broke my heart and now you realize my worth in your back and you want to make things work and you want to be all in, up in my business, you know? This is about you either moving on to another soulmate or accepting, you know, this particular situation and maybe giving it another go. So this is all up in your hands. You have the decision to make because this person is thinking about you very heavily. This person wants to come back around. They want to make things work with the Three of Pentacles. They want to offer you commitment. I'm also seeing with the Knight of Pentacles. So you're going to have this choice to make with, you know, this Three of Wands is all about a path. It's all about choosing which way you want to go. You've got three threes. Um, so you've got choices to make as well. I'm not necessarily seeing a karmic situation, but for some of you, you may have dealt with a situation where they may have chosen someone else. But it's all a part of their karma is what I'm seeing. But yeah, there could have been a situation with a third party. But I'm not necessarily seeing it for, for everyone. There are going to be some Scorpios who have been dealing with perhaps just a situation where someone's broken your heart. Then they want to come back and build something with you. But you have choices and do not forget that. You know, you have the choices to be able to move on to someone else. You have the choices to perhaps make this work with this particular person. Because it can work. It just depends on your emotional energy as well. So Scorpio, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if this resonates. And I will speak to you all very soon. And check out the description box below if you'd like to win a private reading. And also my bracelets as well. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.